How's it hanging, fellow Sam Orishan? This is another episode of Astrobot, and in today's episode, check this out. I'm playing a Sly now. Not gonna say about Sly other than he's right here. Oh, he hit for me. What a bitch. Look at this, guys. That's the Dean riding an elephant. Kind of a spoiler to my Uncharted Lost Legacy Let's Play, wouldn't you say? I don't worry, Nadine's got muscles. Chloe used to stand here, but I guess she left to help me with the... Uh, we explored the icy place over there. Now we are on to the last area that we can unlock in this place, which is uh, the pyramid. Also, can I dance with you motherfuckers? Guess not, okay. They're really urging me to open this up. Yeah, I just recorded a new episode of uh, Yakuza. I talked in it, so... I have very little episode prepared ahead. So basically I'm sitting... Oh my god, look at the time, it's 2147. Magic number. I don't need 30 bots. Check it out, I did it without 30 bots. They would have made a, like, a, like a rope or a ladder for me to get down, but... I don't need that shit, I'm too good. But you guys can come down. Oh, you got to fucking teleport. That's a bit cheating, what did you say? Oh yeah, I gotta help. Figured I can just, you know... Watch others work as I do nothing. My favorite thing to do. Can I dance with you guys? I think that's like an achievement I get. Come on, floss with me, assholes. It's not. I'm a bit drunk, sorry about that. And. Oh, I sacrificed myself. Got a Dr. Pepper Cherry flavor here. Pretty good. Yeah, and as, 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 as I was saying. What's this? As I was saying. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh yeah, that, when I booted up the game, the, the game wanted an update to download. So it... I don't know how big that update is, but it's definitely too fucking big because it takes too long. Oh, there's also bots here helping, that's cool. Because I just fucking wanted... You know, like I just wanted the game to download the update really quickly, but it's gonna take an hour to do that. So I decided to record Yakuza instead, but I guess it didn't download it, the update in the background? Which is fucking lame as fuck. Oh, Jesus. And... What's up with this? Oh, it's a bowling ball. I was playing pool earlier with my friends and drinking, so... My friends from work. I'm glad at least I made friends at work, because I swear to fucking god, all my friends I had for the longest time have moved off the fuck out of my fucking hometown. I hate this place so much. It's miserable. And yeah, they added the first speed. Oh, what? Uh, first speed running stage to the game. But I gotta finish the game itself first. Come on, four more people. Say so yeah, I gotta finish the first stage. I mean the game first before I actually move on to uh, doing the speedrun stages that they added the first one recently. It's a construction site themed speedrun stage. Seem to be utilizing the dog backpack mechanic, which is the one that boosts you forward. Who could be in this sec? Take a fucking guess. And I'm going to do it once I'm done with the game. There's going to be a finale episode where I beat the game, right? And then we're going to have like a little bit of a, you know, a bonus episode. Kind of like I do with Sackboy as a good adventure where there was a finale episode and three more bonus episodes because there was like an entire chapter after the final chapter. So same thing's going to be with this game, except uh, I will see whether by the time I get to that bonus episode maybe they will add another level i don't know how many they were meant to add but uh i'll be keep making new episodes of this series 
Who's inside? Did you took a guess? My guess was that it's gonna be Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. I was right. He's inside this page if you can't see him. Don't you remember the stage in Half-Life where Gordon got into a jet fighter and started flying around and shit and shooting aliens and he said something along the lines of uh, kiss my balls or something like that. Was that my... was that you knew him? So they are two connected uh, franchises. So it really doesn't matter who said that. Oh wow, I think they have descended into hell. Cool. Oh fuck my life. I've always wanted to. I've always knew that was in my fucking what the hell is with these platforms? It's a treacherous. Who's in this one? I say it's Duke Nukem. Okay, I was not right. That, that's not Duke Nukem. That's a bird. Cat? Goose? A dog? Okay, I'm not quite sure. Last week I had a cat. Named him Leon. Like Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. Had him for all of two fucking weeks. Must be like a record. No way. What the fuck am I saying? All two weeks. I had him for less than a fucking day. Sorry, buddy. I thought I rescued you. Kicked him in the face for no reason. I thought maybe having a cat to take care of and love. Cure my depression. And then my parents got rid of it. Because I don't know what depression is. I don't have depression. I'm just a bit sad. Yeah, of course. Did you know my parents were fucking certified psychologists? Man. Should have asked them from the beginning. Hell yeah. I've, I've seen a glitch people perform around here that uh, launches you like really high into the sky. And while you perform it, you can kind of get on top of the stage and like fuck around. It doesn't really give you anything beneficial or useful, just just a little fun thing you can kind of do. This episode is gonna get the local Roku thumbnail, even though we don't really interact with local Rokos, but... Well, I really wanted to put local Roku on the thumbnail. But last episode was also the episode where we beat the, the chameleon boss fight, so I feel like the chameleon boss fight is a bit more important in that episode. But man, Kulcha looks so fucking adorable in this game. You know what, I think so it's pretty cool that we got to see pretty Loco Roco, but in Loco Roco 2 you can unlock a cutscene that's like 3D really rendered. It's like a 3D little claymation looking cutscene. Oh, I missed the puzzle piece. Where did I miss the puzzle piece? Oh, I missed it in the local Roco level. Yeah. Should I replay the local Roco level? I missed the fucking puzzle in it. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Gonna do that at some other fucking point. New chapter begins, though. I think I took a thumbnail. Of Astro flying on a ship, on a PlayStation 5 controller. Like every single facial expression he makes on top of it. And I feel bad for that little CPU. Not only does that alien seem to have a major crush on it, he, he's also an abusive partner. What the fuck, man? Alright, well, I gotta do one more episode in this fucking... One more level in this episode. Can't just have it be a level where I just do jack shit. Fuck, I'm going too fast. I at least got the puzzle piece, that's what's important. It's an Arabian Nights themed level. It's a butler robot. Even background robots in this game are so fucking cute. Oh yeah, I can't use the Sly Cooper thing. I gotta use... I gotta... I gotta motherfucking use, okay? I just gotta use... 
I'm a bit disoriented. Might be, might have something to do with me being drunk. Where am I? I don't know. Plane. Cool. I'm drowning the sorrows of my life in alcohol. No, I ain't that fucking far gone yet, but you know. Just went out drinking with my friends. Invited me to drink, so I went because, well, you can't pass up opportunities like that because that's how you make friends. By actually interacting with people. And well, not all the time do you get to interact with people the way you'd like to. Sometimes you gotta interact with them the way they like to. And if a person likes to drink, they like to drink and you kind of have to be like, okay, guess I'm going drinking. I got some Korean barbecue noodles that'll make some of later. Check out this controller we have. It's a blue and yellow one. Kind of basic looking, but I ran out of those really cool looking uh, skins. But I'm a really big fan of the blue and yellow combinations. Or even more, purple and yellow. I remember all my fucking fancy cars in Grand Theft Auto Online used to be painted purple and yellow. Even though looking back at it, I... Like now, I would not fucking paint my cars yellow and purple. Back then I liked it. And it did look pretty cool on my, like, motorbike. On some, like, more fancy cars, it looked kinda cool, but like... If I... Played... So much Grand Theft Auto Online right now... I would just paint all my cars black. Matte black, but I would just cheese. Now who the fuck are you? Galactic Pirate. Speaker of the Seven Stars. Sorry. Speaking of some obscure weird JRPGs, I've been playing Live a Live recently. I believe that's how you pronounce this game's title. Live a Live. It sounds better if it was pronounced Live a life because the game is all about it's a jrpg that doesn't tell a linear story it tells like a story throughout multiple chapters of history starting with prehistory where you play as a caveman and being gonna lie so far other than visually being very impressive it's like a jrpg nothing i haven't fucking played before it looks very gorgeous but like Maybe I shouldn't have started with the prehistoric chapter because that one doesn't feature any dialogue since, you play, since you're playing as a caveman. That chapter only features... Oh wow, I can't fucking go that far into the desert. Or else I'll go crazy. That, that chapter, the prehistoric one, only features... Like grunts and funny expressions being made instead of a story being told. What the fuck killed me? Am I too drunk to realize what killed me? Because I genuinely don't see what fucking killed me. My reaction time is severely slowed down. I was playing pool with my like with my friends while I was drunk and man, I fucking kicked their ass. Hell yeah. Oh, I think I blew up the fucker attached himself to me. Cheeky little fuck. Alright, get out of here. Money. Pretty sure that's the only use for that uh, money pickup, right? Whatever you call that. Money pig? No. Some pig looking thing. Ooh, a blue snake. It's a rope I can climb gets me to the same place I jumped up earlier using the umbrellas, so what's the point? Oh yeah, not only did they add a new stage in this game, but it also came with some watch rescue. I know that in the first, like, they definitely added Eve from Stellar Blade, which is a game I'd like to play, I guess. If anything, I'd play this for you because she's gorgeous. And 
the game actually looks pretty fun. And now, you know what's the funniest fucking thing about Stellar Blade? Is when the game was first announced, I've heard stories about how the, the game's protagonist is fucking go absolutely gorgeous, but she's actually based on a real life uh, Korean supermodel. Even though when I was in Korea, I felt like all the girls there are supermodels, but whatever. And then they show the producer of the game, and it's like some sweaty fucking fat nerd. And I'm like, alright, oh, the whole reason that game was made just so this guy could hang out with a super model. I drank vodka with a pretty cute girl when I was in Korea, and what? Now she won't even answer me. Broke my heart. Don't they know it's fragile? I'm gonna give up this. Look, it's a gin, powerful gin lamp. Now, if reading the Witcher books have taught me anything, is that you don't fuck with gin. Yeah, I get what I'm supposed to do, I just can't fucking quite do it. <laughs> Damn it, an evil gin, who would have fought? Are they ever good? Except Aladdin, I guess, with Robin Williams' voice too. Oh yeah, he was later played by Will Smith. Remember that whole fucking fiasco? That was the beginning of the whole shitstorm about. Look, it's Cat from Gravity Rush. Now, Gravity Rush I've beaten 100% on PS Vita. And I fucking loved it, and I never played the sequel. But I have both of them. But it's just that my fucking backlog library of games is so extensive and fucking ridiculous and huge. And like I said, I don't think I have enough of a lifetime to actually catch up with all these games. I'm, like I just mentioned how I'm playing a JRPG that so far hasn't impressed me all that much. Oh, come on. Because I, I just think I started with the wrong chapter. I think I should have started with the Wild West chapter. It's much more interesting. But I decided to go in order. But I ain't gonna give up. I'm gonna keep on playing. And, uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna fucking be busy playing. Great, nice. Be busy playing that fucking game for the next, I don't know, half a year. Yeah, I have to get around to Gravity Rush at some point on this channel. If anything, to maybe make some people realize that Gravity Rush is awesome and you should play it. Damn it, what the fuck is wrong with me? I thought I should have bought something at a KFC while I was passing by it on my way back home from drinking. Is a good way to get a little bit more sobered up if you eat some. Because when you're drinking alcohol, the alcohol is spread throughout your body, mixed up with your blood. It's mixed in your blood, right? And that's why fat people uh, are harder to get, get drunk because, you know, they got a lot of cholesterol and shit. High cholesterol. As unfortunate as it is to have high cholesterol, at least it makes you a bit more immune to getting drunk. I only drank two fucking beers, it's not like I fucking drank so much, but there's like big glasses of beer, like two bottles. Still, I'm not sure if my friends are not still drinking. That's an 8 bit character doing here, you exclusive to those other levels, which I. My headcanon is that the 8-bit levels in this game are all references to 3D game that hero, which is like a PS3 game made by Dromsov of all fucking companies. It's like a Zelda clone. So believe it or not, it's pretty good. But it's quite a rare game because it's only if you wanna play 3D game that hero right now, well you gotta buy it physically on the PS3. 
than the Spider-Man game, because... Yeah, it's only fucking physical and PS3. Who even keeps that fucking library of PS physical PS3 games anymore? And even if they do... Who's... Who the fuck has a 3D game that hero on it? Not like it was some huge popular game. Epic. Radical. Did you guys know you can apparently be a radical centrist? That's something. Most people are centrist when they don't want to be a radical leftist or a right wing or some shit, but. Yeah, we can be a real radical left centrist now, too. What the that look like? Is he on drugs? Guys, tell me a serious question. Were they on drugs making this thing? How did they come up with a tornado sucking you up like that? It's crazy. They could not have been, I don't know, creative? They had to be on drugs. I'm making fun of like comments, like online, whenever something crazy happens. Not like a video game and... Someone says, like, they must have been high when you came up with this shit. Like, okay, possibly. But also, they could have uh, potentially been, you know, creative. Why don't you just fucking high to come up with fun stuff? Speaking of high, one of my friends that we met up with today came over high and, like, but marijuana is not legal where I've been, so. Now, you know, like, I'm gonna snitch or him or anything, but. Kind of made me think that I wonder if he gets that. I wonder who this hero is. I figured there'd be something inside that thing. Hidden, like a robot or some shit. Cat from Gravity Rush is one of the playable costumes in this game. Which is awesome, but at the same time. Like I kept saying, like, you can't play a Soul Snake or any anybody really famous. But you have fucking Sly. And you have, like... You have fucking Sly and you have... A Rapper the Rapper. Why can't you play, like, these iconic PlayStation characters? Like Soul Snake. But I can play fucking Sly. Like, that's great for Sly fans. They can pretend it's a new Sly game. A while back, there was also rumors that, oh, definitely, they're gonna announce a new Sly game, and it's kind of like... Look at that. Raven shaking her ass. Ain't that some... Her name's Raven. Just like the Teen Titans Raven. She looks like a, like a female Shadow the Hedgehog, turned into a female waifu. And you know what? She's like your rival character from Gravity Rush. Why did we got two characters from Gravity Rush, and yet not a single Twisted Metal character? If anything, I think Cat alone should have been enough of a Gravity Rush reference. And we should have gotten at least two characters from Twisted Metal, because like a lot of different characters. Well, look at that, we're fighting a fucking ball fight. Now you'd think with a boss fight in this episode, I'd put the genie on the thumbnail, but... Uh, fuck the genie? God damn it. Also, I'll tell you a bit of a secret. We'll fight him again later in the game, so I'll still take a thumbnail of him. But I'll just use it for a later episode. You go, that's a good shot of In fact, fucking just, just, just get out of my fucking sight. Ah, oh, there we go. Perf perfecto mundo. Yeah, I got, so I gotta write some bullshit today, uh, for my work. I got a fucking homework assignment from the army. I gotta write the fucking gun laws three times in a row by hand that I'm just a basic. And I gotta know all the fucking rules by tomorrow, which you fucking think I'll learn that shit? I'm kinda drunk. 
And I'm supposed to record Let's Plays and still writing that shit. Because, quite frankly, fuck my job. And I don't fucking like it or wanna fucking do it. You know, if an actual war broke out and we were actually needed, everybody, from private to like majors, would have shit their pants. And all of a sudden, everybody fucking run for the hills. Right, so we can either take the normal exit, we pretty much 100% of this level, or we can take a very creative alternative path leading to that fucking place. To the, the secret, you know, hidden exit. So yeah, do not jump on this, I guess, if you want to get the secret level. Check it out, we jumped on this and it lit up. Wait, why did these particles did it not fell on the ground? Is that a glitch? No, dear fellas, that's not a glitch. It's a, it's a puzzle. See how the blocks light up underneath me? What do you think that means? Well, it means we can jump on different parts. Damn it, you fucking bastard. I do like the particles being in the sky, that's pretty dope. Alright, this is very creative and all that, but how do I fucking get this shit done? You fucker. What, what is what's wrong with me? Could it be that... No. Damn it, I've done it before, what the fuck? Get on this fucking thing. Oh, come on. I gotta interact with some bullshit around here. Planes got something to do with this? No. Light sub, light sub, light sub. Jump onto. Can I like get from the plane? I can't even jump on the plane. It's slippery. Have I made any progress in Barnyard? I bet you're very curious. I got to the part that traumatized me as a child. And you know what? Yeah, I can fucking see how I was traumatized. The game takes like a fucking 180 degree turn and all of a sudden becomes fucking spooky out of nowhere. Like, yeah, looking at it now, it's just, like, very silly. But as a kid, like, the sky goes red out of nowhere. I didn't spoke English back then. I didn't know what the fuck the game was actually about, what the dialogue was. I just knew that I'm a cow, and I do missions, and that's, that's kind of all I fucking knew about this game. You can tell by the laser that the platforms are here. How the fuck do I... Oh, my fucking bloody Christ. Am I missing something? Oh, I am missing something. I got a dead back dog. I forgot about him. I'm gonna blame that I'm drunk, not that I'm stupid, okay? Fuck a flying carpet. Whisk me away. Look, a hidden level. And there's that Dean's elephant. Alright, we're taking the secret exit. So we can hunt to send this level and unlock the secret level. Ain't that dope. And I can take a thumbnail off of Sly flying through space. That's pretty cool. Look at me go. That's the pre-final stage of the secret secret zone. Ain't that dope? I think that's pretty dope. What was I talking about? Barnyard? Oh yeah, so, you know, like, there's like a mini game in Barnyard where, like, a bunch of raccoons show up and they steal eggs from the chicken coop. And you gotta, um, squirt at them. Yes, you didn't hurt me. You, you heard me correct. You gotta squirt at them. What are you laughing at? This is a serious matter, okay? It's a serious fucking game for serious gamers like me. You squirt at the raccoons as a furry, uh, hot, thick cow 
I cannot fucking believe I played this as a child. This is not a fucking kids game. Might be based off a kids movie, but it's not for fucking kids. It's for g degenerates and fucked up psychopaths. And and there's a fucking mission basically the same as the raccoon mission later in the game. But all of a sudden you have to protect the chicken coop from devils because it takes place inside a dream. And the sky goes fucking red and it's like a nightmare. The music gets all creepy. Instead of raccoons, there's like devils running around. Instead of the chickens you have to protect, they're like roasted chickens. And as a kid, that mission traumatized me and I fucking never got past that mission. I just refused to fucking do it. It scared me so much. And it looks fucking silly now, but I can fucking see how like an eight-year-old me or something could have gotten scared by that. It's fucking creepy. And the worst part is that it comes out out of nowhere. You just expect another shitty ass stupid little fucking coop chicken coop defense mission and all of a sudden you have to deal with devils and shit with this fucking doom anyway we got a fucking secret it's a secret and yeah we're gonna we're gonna do it next episode and, and shit so oopsie doodles i paused the game by accident see you fellas in the next episode uh bye